macaron red beans. I'm not a fan. Nah, me not like peas. Me not like beans. Me not like peas. But for some reason, my father give me some red round Jamaican beans. I'm going to cook it Sunday gun. I'm going to know if I like the peas or I love the peas. But it and cow peas taste similarly. Similarly, you know. Them taste similar. And uh, I realized that I'm known for the rich flavor and the vibrant red color. The peas was peas in. And this is my broke coconut as well, you know. Broke coconut and, and, and salt or coconut milk and everything and drop in a pot with big scotch bonnet. Yo! You want to see Shelly Rice? And this a rice didn't name Shelly. So anyways, my father said I must carry up some. And I decided to soak some, cook some, and uh, plant some, right? So the ones I have right now is the Jamaican round red beans. And him tell me some if you use female instructions to plant it. So him, him tell me some I must plant it in a specific climate because you know all of these tropical stuff them grow in a hot climate. So in order to recreate or um, mimic the climate of Jamaica, I need to plant it in this in like a similar climate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure me know the temperature before me carry them out and plant them because there are tropical plants and they love plenty sunlight so they're gonna require temperature between 70 to 80 degrees fahrenheit and 21 to 27 degrees celsius for optimal growth when it come on to the soil the soil needs to be well drained a fertilized soil with a ph level around six to seven and uh, you can add your organic compost and your organic matter to improve the soil nutrition levels and you know you know um the soil structure as well but because I make my own compost, I make my own fertilizer, I make my own, you know, amenities to help, you know, boost the plants. I am going to do, use my own stuff and see how well they grow. I've tried to plant peas before and them come, but not in the abundance I want them to. I like these peas. I don't know if I like it or I love it. And I'm not a peas fan. I always pick up my peas out of the rice and peas. But for some reason, this peas is peas in. So I'm going to plant the red the round red beans directly into the soil and I'm gonna do this after the last frost so the last frost date in my area I'm gonna do it do it after it you find out the last frost date in your area and I'm gonna plant them around one to two inches deep and space them around around two two to four inches apart in row rows yeah so I'm gonna use rows and I'm going to water the soil constantly. I'm going to keep it moist, but I'm not going to make it go over water log or watery. Because water being regular, especially during the dry periods, will promote health. I mean, healthy growth. But watering it when it's not dry, it's going to cause it to mold and, you know, deform and it not going to grow and the peas them just not going to prosper. So we don't want that. So this peas now he said to me that although there are there are beans and their peas them like to climb so they are runners so you're gonna have to have a supporting frame so i'm gonna have to make a supporting frame that's gonna benefit and support the structures of the the peas so i'm gonna use a trellis or a stake so i'm gonna show you what i'm going to do later on to support them when they come up all right but you need to provide support that will help the plants to grow vertically and prevent from sprawling on the ground. Because when they are up on the ground, slugs are going to eat them, alright? And he also told me that it takes around 70 to 90 days after planting to harvest the beans. So when the pods are fully mature, the beans inside are plumped and firm. But we know how them look because we are gardeners. So we are going to plant them and we are going to harvest them, alright? But it's typically already around 17 to 90 days. So now I have to go check and make sure I have enough days after the frost before summer finish to make sure that we can harvest enough peas. And if I'm going to follow his guidelines and, you know, do the necessary care I can to successfully, successfully grow the peas them, me, I'm going to make sure that I share it with Uno too. Because knowledge is for sharing. Each one teach one. So whatever I learn and I full joy and I love to do, I'm going to share it with you guys. Because one thing I can say, having this peas or beans or whatever you call it in my dinner, it was flavorful and it was nutritious. And it gave the, 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 the dinner 
even the aroma was nice in the peas mixed with the with the coconut and the rice and, and the pepper and the ginger and all of the all of the spices come together it was beautiful so cow peas and this peas definitely mega plant them in my garden i plant cow peas last year but i never have enough time because i didn't know how long they take to grow but now my father tell me 70 90 days me need after planting so mega harvest the bee the beans and when i'm ready i'm gonna show you guys all right so let's get into it so now we plant out all the peas. I'm experimenting with the soaked peas and I also experiment with the dry peas. So I planted some soaked for 24 hours and then I planted some on the right side, which is three rows soaked and three rows unsoaked. So we're going to experiment and see what happens. Over on the other side of the garden now, where the trellis is, I decided that I'm going to dig and uh, plant i'm gonna plant the peas over this side so what i'm going to be using now i have some worm casting in the garden bed behind me and i've seen it for a couple of days now and i decided that i wanted to do it this way so i'm gonna use the worm casting to cover up the peas itself and then use that to grow the peas I found nasturtium growing in the worm casting that I had collected before I went on holiday. So it gave me the idea to do that. And look how the worm casting look rich and nice. You can tell it's not just soil. It's definitely worm poops. Because this garden bed, I had put a lot of stuff in to break down over last year. And may I tell you, the worms, them I'm finding a good place. So the worms are pooping over here really nicely and I really like it. It don't smell like soil, it just smells strong and rich. So I'm going to use this, cover up all the peas, and then you and I can watch them grow. And then if it don't grow, it don't grow. But at least we are experimenting together. All right? So that's what I'm doing on this side of the bed. But for the other side of the garden bed, um, I've done the peas. I've tested, I've soaked some peas, and I also unsoaked some. So I plant those as well. So we're going to watch them grow. All right? And then after we've done all of this, we're going to water everything, and then we're going to leave it. I'm in the UK, eight, zone 8B, so it's kind of harder for me to work with, you know, the sun and the environment. So I am trying to utilize the soil that I've got and implement the compost, worm casting and fertilizer to give more minerals and nutrients to the ground. In this way, I can in turn have a good harvest. So the climber, the peas in my climber, so I'm going to go on for climb up the trellis. So this already makes, so we just decided to put them over here, so... So this is our experiment I'm doing. And then the rest of the garden now, you'll see what's growing into it. Well, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I have a lot of other videos I need to edit and put and post up for now. But I mean, I have no storage, so I'm work on that. So yeah, that's it for now. So I have some peas left over. I'm a don't want to, you know, just discard them. So I'm going to plant them over here. So. But I to remember when I plant them. So I do the video that I can just go back and look. And say okay, I did the peas them over here, so so I could do the same method I did on the other side of the garden, and then plant these. Then I go water them and just leave them and make them grow. All right, so it's gonna be one to two inches deep and um two to four inches apart. So that's nothing new to no guys. I don't know if I plant peas. I just wanted to share my little garden updates with you guys and also my own personal video log. So, um, yeah, I'll move forward and then you guys can, you know, sit back and relax and put on the notification bell. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my things. All right. Sister Nix is out. Rainwater. Okay. Water newly peas as according to if you did just don't eat and you wouldn't want something to drink too. So we're gonna water them to make sure their roots get established. Because that's how the roots are gonna be established. When you water them, then I'm gonna send out new roots and the new roots are gonna absorb, push through in on the soil and want. You know, nutrients and minerals and retail taste. So make sure you water them. 
many you go provide support with trellis or sticks or whatever whatever all right and you're gonna make sure you harvest your peas after a certain amount of days we go through that already but we can't go through it again 